Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of the Club 100 2022 Endurance Championship from the perspective of Rich T Racing. This is round three at GYG and once again we're here with the three swans. Today that is just myself and Jasper. Uh, no idea where Tom was, still don't know to this day why he didn't make it to this round but there we go, we move. Uh, so yeah, here for GYG, what I believe to be the best track on the Club 100 calendar. Really looking forward to this one. Got to do some SP60 in the morning as well. Will there be a video on that? I would imagine there will be something at some point, although I, I honestly at this point, no idea uh, if I will actually be able to get round to that. But yeah, here for round three. Uh, this is going to be very similar to round two where I'm going to show you uh, bits of the start and the opening pit stop and then jump into the behind the scenes bit doing the strategy in and, in and around the, the pit the pit area, the paddock area, which I think is that, that is, is, it's really homely for me. I really enjoy uh, bringing this sort of content out. Uh, fortunately, uh, there's no start drama, there's no radio mishaps, there's no GoPro stuff. It's just a nice, calm start and I really enjoy it. I was still on the grid being there like, you know what? I could run to the car and get uh, the other SD card and, you know, go through all that. But I thought, you know what? I'll record a little bit of footage and then worry about doing the behind the scenes bits later on. That's what's ended up happening. So let's get into the actual race then. So you just see uh, Tim Hill there on our right. He is starting in 21st, just in front of us. We were in 22nd place. That's where I was able to qualify. So I think we did a 50.8 or something like that. That. I'm just having a look now. It's a 50.973. That's what we end up doing. 22nd place. Hopefully, uh, we can only go forward from here. Use the strategy to our advantage. A uh, little few question marks over the actual cart. So I wasn't particularly happy with it. Nearly thought about throwing the joke, but decided not to because um, it's possible. It was po we thought it might be possible that this, the track has just lost a bit of time compared to the SP60 when I was doing 50.5. But it looks like we are now about ready to get this race underway. I've got Jasper in my ear, ready, ready to plan the strategy out. I'm looking to come in as early as I possibly can. I will touch on that in a moment, but it looks like we are now go, go, go here at GYG. No Rich T timer. Not going to throw that in because there's not really much point because I'm not going to be using it, but it looks like we've got Tom Dent just on our in, on our inside there. So we're going to tuck in behind him, try and get the toe up towards Spoon Corner. We've got this chap in the white helmet. We're going to see him through the through the first, what is it? the second corner we're going to go down the inside on Tom Dent I think we've got a little bit of a bump there from someone behind Tom hanging on to that one for now there's a man uh, just getting onto the grass the chap in white has now got back past us a little bit frenetic here but oh there's a spinner out there we've gained a position on them as well now we're going to do a lovely little move around the outside of um of the carousel around the guy in the um, white helmet and we've just got Tom Dent there as well who was getting into a little bit of calamity with that chap as well in the white helmet as we now tuck behind this chap in the silver helmet who got caught out in that instant in the carousel and it's been quite a chaotic start but we have actually gained about five places on that opening lap jumping up into P17 a decent opening lap it did then calm down significantly I basically just spent the opening minutes behind that guy in silver but you know where I mentioned that I wanted to come in early well there goes our our mate Adam who's going to be racing for the free swans at clay pigeon I might add so he stopped early and I wanted to stop early as well but Jasper gave me the advice to or he made the call to say no carry on this is the pace let's let's keep going and if I'm being completely honest not the best strategy call in the world because it turned out our car genuinely was um, a bit of a stinker really there's no real nice way of putting it and I'm not, I'm not trying to make race, race driver excuses but it had no top end I was a good like half second slower than what I'd been doing in the SP60 in the morning so yeah it genuinely was uh, ju just not the best situation to be involved in and with the early stop for Adam he actually managed to get out um, into nice clean air and by the time we're coming um, up the Dragon Strait as you see here he's coming out of spoon so yeah that sort of shows really just how wrong the strategy had gone and it was really disheartening and I'm quite glad there's no really more there's not much more in the way of footage for this race because it wasn't the most enjoyable race uh, for me it wasn't the most enjoyable stint so uh, we're going to cut away now uh, from the onboard action we're going to jump to uh, about the final half hour of the race uh, to bring you that behind the scenes stuff that I talked about the sort of the for me, the homely stuff. I really enjoy uh, putting this stuff together. So, yeah, we're going to cut away from this now and bring you that footage. Uh, what's basically, context, we're sort of in the, just below uh, the top 20, trying to get into that 
point and also beat Brilio and Double Dash Motorsport Media for uh, Clubman honours, we shall say. So let's now have a look at how that all panned out. Yeah, the guy, the guy directly in front of you, you're racing him for position, you're racing him for position. Yeah. The window's open in two and a half minutes, I'm going to make my, make my way downtown. It's a fucking long walk down there, this. Okay, mate, I'm here. But there are a lot, there are a lot of people here, so I don't think you'll be able to get in straight away. Yeah, it's entirely possible. To be honest, mate, if you come in on this lap, you might just make it for the fuel bay to be open. It's fully up to you, fully up to you if you want to risk that. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Box, 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 box. If no one pits in front of you. Box in now, in now, in, 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 in. Go, go right, go right, go right, go right, go right. That wasn't necessary. Yeah, let Dickie go, let Dickie go. Well, you're a dumbass then. <laughs> it is very true. Just stay with him as much as you can, mate. That's all you can do. Out of the way, you're going to get run over. I was, talk I was talking to the guy who was in, who was coming back to the station. Okay, 
Brilio in, Brilio in. They are changing drivers, they're changing drivers. They are back to their quick guy, yeah. However, you're passing them now. You've got an Inter's team behind you. Not entirely sure. To be honest, I didn't really catch what you said. Okay, at the moment we're 21st. radio dangling off just came into the pits and drove straight off. Oh, oh yeah, they got a black flag. But he just came in so slowly, he didn't know what the hell he was doing. Right, I'm gonna make my way back to the, make my way back to the viewing platform where I can hear you best. That's a premier team, premier team, let them through, follow them, follow them. Give me a radio check, Jasper. Okay. Are you concentrating? Uh, I would say they are about half a second behind. So, yeah. Do your bang. I think it's for, the, the next car on the track, the next car is 43, and they are just about. They're just at the top of the hill now. Yeah, this is probably about as good as we get to unfortunately. Oh, they did just take a couple of attempts out of you on that last lap. Well, this doesn't make really much sense because you did a 51 dead, they did a 50.6. Yeah, the gap is now three seconds. The team in front of us is an inter team, they're called Not Too Shabby. Okay, I've just dropped my phone, my phone has just been dropped. to get my phone out, I was saying look normal, look normal, look normal. You're holding the station, sort of doing it in the 50, 51.4s. No, they're both in the 51.4. Uh, that last lap was a 51.4, yeah. So when you're sort of in clear air, you're only, you're only in like three tenths slower than Brilio. Uh, who just coming through turn two now. And we have got five minutes left of the race. So if you just, if you just get past Richard. Nice, nice, nice. He was a very generous sir. I think he might have known who you were. Lovely, as you can quite clearly see, you've got a beautiful bit of clear air uh, in front of you. Let's just keep the fingers crossed that there are some calamities, I suppose. Yeah. What's the gap behind? Uh, Richard is he's right on your tail at the moment. Watch out for lunch. Oh, 
you. That will be the end of the race. We're going to have one more lap. Keep going. Just don't, just don't, whatever you do, don't get in the ring leader's way. Yeah, I reckon we'll get one more lap in. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. And check it flag, check it flag. Check it flag. <laughs> that has to be done. Okay, mate, so across the line, 17th place. We were in the end. I'm not sure how far ahead of G3 times the lady we were. I think we're ninth in class. Fastest lap was a 51 dead, done by myself. I think we just have to put that work that one. We just we we we, we lost out in the early phases. And if, well, I'm the car, the, well, if you're going half a second slower than yeah. what you did this morning, there's someone in the car in there. Yeah. It's a shame, um, but to be fair, again, 17th, not 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 the worst result. Uh, for the record, if we were an Inter's team, we would have come second. So, yeah, so we're bas we're basically on roughly the same pace, the same sort of positioning as we were last year. Obviously, we had a bit of a naff cart today. Uh, last time, um, not last time. Oh, I bloody had the whole radio debacle. We weren't shit. We weren't shit. We still, we still came twenty first. Leave it out. I think I'm getting body looks of swearing. I think I should remove myself from the situation. Yeah, probably should have read that situation a bit better with my language, considering that there were children about. Me and my big mouth, eh? One day I will learn how to shut it. Anyway, that concludes this video, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, as I summarised the Jasper on the radio, um, what, not, 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 not the best day, but certainly by no means a disaster. 17th, still a decent result, and we're still basically on the pace uh, that we were uh, last year, and that's with a bad cart as well. So I think we can take some great comfort from that heading into the next couple of rounds at Clay, Lid, and Bayford, or not in that order, no, it's Clay, Bayford, Lid. Yes, that's the order we're going in. Let's not end up at Lid when we should be at Bayford. But that does bring this video to a conclusion, ladies and gentlemen. The Free Swans climb up into fifth in the overall standings. A championship challenge is potentially still on the cards, but we will really need to get our act together in those next three rounds. So if you're looking forward to seeing that, you enjoy this type of Club 100 content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications. Thank you very much for watching. And the final thing I should say for now is ta-ta and farewell.